even more sweaty than now. Like, my teacher is like stuck to my skin. So it's a new day. It's uh, early in the morning. It's 8 a.m. So still pretty tired. Actually, it's not that bad. Today is one of the few days where I don't feel like super tired. But uh, our plan is to get picked up and to go to the elephant sanctuary. Dying after the drive. Oh, it's all right. Okay, uh, almost. <laughs> Short breakdown what we did. We first got introduced, of course, and then we started right away by feeding the elephants. We fed them bananas. Almost ate my hand. Now he's taking it. <laughs> so we just fed the elephants. It's so funny, my hands are so dirty, but they were so happy. You could see. I really like that. We took videos. And then we had to help them carry like a little bit of the other green stuff. Coming for their treats. <laughs> and the next part after the lunch was interesting because we uh, prepared some vitamins for them which consisted of rice, tamarind, mango, ananas, some like fruits you know like this and we made some kind of balls out of them like as big as a fist maybe And then we went down and um, gave it to them and we had to say like bonbon, here's like bonbon. And then they came and we had to put it directly in their mouth, not in the trunk. The next part was very interesting because we actually uh, went into a mud bath with the elephants. And sadly we didn't have our camera because the guide said that it will get like wet and dirty and he was right and then we had to scrub the um, elephants and i think they they felt really nice we also had to clean the elephants afterwards so we went into like a small lake or small like river splashed them with water and felt really good after the seat so yeah i can definitely recommend to do that if you're here in uh, chiang mai now we are at the restaurant next to the night market actually but it looks nice to us we ordered like a pre-dish i guess like a starter appetizer and actually those are what are they called dumplings and yeah i never had them so let's see Tasty, they take really similar to the Polish dumplings, just fried. As you can see, they are made for a And it is actually called Super Soup. And you can see that it has like a lot of different kinds of meats in here. This is like wing, chicken wing, this is like chicken wing again. And actually it has also chicken, where are they? Here, this is chicken foot, right? Chicken foot in it. I never had one of those. You can eat them, I guess. So we will see that for sure. But I guess you all want to see how I eat that chicken from, right? So... I think it's more like a mind thing. It doesn't, mind thing. It doesn't taste bad. It's just like my, my head tells me it's weird. I didn't expect it to go off the bone or like the cloth that easily. It like it just came off right away. Yeah. But it actually tastes it's really spicy, but good spicy. Right now 
we are driving to uh, Doi Sute. Doi Sute. Doi Sute. And the road is kind of mountainy, so we just drove outside of Chiang Mai. We still have to go 17 kilometers, so that might, might take a while. And today is by far the hottest day I've ever witnessed in my entire life. Already, I can tell. I don't know why. It has the same temperature as the last days, but it's just really... I went outside on the balcony today and I almost died. It's that hot, so... Yeah, let's see if there are monkeys on that mountain. And yeah, we will film uh, on that mountain again, so see you then. Yeah, so we took the uh, fernicule up. I don't know the name. Fernicula. Fernicula up, and uh, actually that was not a nice view. It was like all encased, but now we're up at the temple. And yeah, let's have a look around. Like there, I see a lot of people sitting there and praying. Last time, I had no future because there was no sheet. Of, the, of course, only the one number I took, yeah? They don't have it. Sadly, 28 is not there, so I have no future, apparently. This is it for me, okay? But now they have it. So, your fortune is so proper and middle, not the worst and not the best. Don't think to do a big project, it will make you confused and trouble in the future. You have to wait for your hope, including your lover. So, yeah. So yeah, this is like the normal way down the stairs, but uh, I think it's too too much for us today. Kind of feel still, still feel it in the legs from the last day, so I rather not want to go down there. Da but it doesn't really look that high, but probably halfway down I would collapse or something, so better not do it. Okay, so uh, we found the place we want to eat in. Now we have the dish here, right in front of me. Kasai. And it's supposed to be like some curry soup, so like coconut milk. And this was the pork version. So yeah, let's see how it tastes. Or is it the beef version? It's the beef version. It's tasty. It tastes like curry. Curry soup. Oh, spicy. Really spicy. Yeah, I really like red curries and so on, so this, I like this one. So, let's eat. So this place is one of the most famous places for this dish and it's called, I think, Kaso Maimani. 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 As you can see I look really sweaty and it is pretty hot still. But uh, we are already on the way back home because we still want to go to another place and we need to drive a little bit for that so that's where we're going now. But this market is really, really far away from each other, it's not so narrow. Which is good, but also bad, you know, so I mean... How sweaty you are! Never like this before, I've never been more sweaty than now. Like, my t-shirt is like stuck to my skin. Look at my, I mean, look at my hair, it looks like I like jump into water. Now we try some northern food. Uh, actually, we ordered the food just arrived. This is just crispy uh, pork belly. It's really crispy. I like this one a lot. This is fried egg. Oh, oh wait. This one is steamed chicken curry with mean, banana leaf. This one is some spicy salad with uh, pork and sausage. Pork sausage. Pork and cucumber. Pork and cucumbers. And this is a typical uh, northern starter plate with several dishes. Yeah. This is your first time in Seoul. This is my first time eating this and uh, I'm very excited. I read that it's uh, recommended to try that. 
I like those a lot. To be honest, that's like one of my favorite things, crispy pork and leaf. Oh, no. Banana chicken curry. Banana leaf chicken curry, sorry. That looks interesting. Mm. Okay. Is it spinach? It might be spinach. It tastes really similar to spinach. And I don't like spinach, but this one's tasty. I can eat it. It's not that I don't like spinach. Okay, it's some kind of chili pork tomato relish. Just dip it in like that and then... Okay, let me try the second one so I can compare them. It's like the green looking one. I think there are a lot of chilies in this one. Yeah, the red one was a lot better.